Welcome back. We are still continuing with the company Duma. On this video, I'm going to teach you how to do the closing transfers for the net profit as well as the drawing in the general journal. Okay, so how do we go, uh, uh, go about doing this? We go to process, journals, general journal. So once you are there, you must now go to your settings. That's the first thing that you must check. You must check your settings. Remember, on the contract account, you don't put anything because for each and every line that we are going to enter here, we are going to have uh, the accounts that will be affected. So we are not going to put a contract there. Then we are going to check which period are we processing for. We are processing for this year. So we are going to leave this one ticked. And then we must now uh, untick repeat description here because we are going to provide a suitable description for uh, each and every entry that you are going to put in the GJ. And then you will see that the tax processing is already set. So we are not going to use tax. That's why we have a debit and a credit there. Then under increment referencing, we are going to say uh, yes, because you can see there, the instruction says that for entry of the net profit for the closing transfers of the net profit, your, your description or your reference is going to say trans1. Then for the closing transfer of the drawings, your uh, reference must say trans2. So it means our, our reference is incrementing. So that's why we are saying yes there. And then we click on close. Then the second thing that I must check, I must check whether I'm in the correct period because this will influence uh, where uh, the pastel will put my information. Then I'm going to press tab on my keyboard and make sure that I'm in the correct date. It's given there as uh, the 1st of March, 01-03-21. Uh, I tap again. That will indicate the accounts that I want to activate uh, in terms of which account to debit and which account to credit. So I'm looking for general ledger account. So it's going to be G. So if I'm transferring the net profit, I must understand which account I must debit and which account I must credit. So as you can see, this is my general journal. On, on my left-hand side, this account that I'm going to activate here indicates the account that I must debit. And then on the, on the far right, there is a contra account there. The contra account indicates the account that I must credit okay so if i'm transferring the net profit i'm going to debit which account i'm going to debit the retained income okay so the retained income is going to be the account that is debited so i'm going to put it on my left here then i press a tab to move uh, to the reference which reference must i use they said i must use trans one so that is my reference there. And then after that, they said I must provide a suitable description. So what will be my description? I will, ju I will just indicate that this is the closing uh, transfer of net profit. Net profit. Okay. So now... I need to put in the amount. Remember in the question paper, when you look at the, uh, the opening balances that you were given, you were not given how much is the retained income. But that was going to be calculated after you updated your general journal. So where are you going to find out how much is the amount that you must put or that represent your retained income? You must now go back to that trial balance that you printed. So I'm going to go back to the trial balance that I printed. And then in this trial balance that I printed on the previous activity, it indicated, it calculated my retained income as 59,250. 59, so this is the retained income that I'm transferring to the capital. Okay, so this is my answer, which I must put when I get back there, which is how much? 59,250. Then I have to press tab. 
Remember, I have to put this amount on the debit side. Then after that, I must now indicate the contract account which will be affected, the credit account or the account that must be credited, which is the capital. So what have I done? I've activated the date. I made sure that I'm in the correct period. I activated the date. I indicated the account that must be debited. I've put in the reference that must be there and also the suitable description. And then I went to find out how much is my retained income. According to the trial balance that I printed, it told me that my, trial, my retained income is 59250 Then I also indicated the account that must be credited. So all this is done in one line. Account debited as well as the account credited. So now I'm going to move and do the next transaction where I'm transferring the drawings. Again, my period is right, my date is right. Then I have to activate the account that is debited, which is capital. When, when I transfer the drawing, when I do the closing transfer for drawing, the, the capital will be debited. And then you can see that the reference is now incrementing. So it goes to trans2 now as how they wanted in the question paper. Then after that, I put in my suitable description, which says what? Closing transfer of, of drawings. Again, I must go to my trial balance and check how much are my drawings. Uh, you can go to a trial balance or you can go to the balances that you were given, uh, 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 that you were supposed to enter in your GJ. So your drawings are appearing there is how much? It's 340,800. As you can see, I only put the amount on the debit side. I don't put any amount on the credit side because automatically when I activate the account to be credited, it will then, the, my GJ will show a debit as well as the credit. So the account to be credited, it will be a, 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 a drawings. Okay, so what did I do? On this line, I enter, I made sure that I'm in the correct period. I activated the correct date. I activated the correct account to be debited. I ensure that my reference is correct. And then I in, I also included the suitable description. And then on the debit side, I included how much is the drawings that must be uh, debited. And then on the other side, then I indicated which account must be credited. So um, after you've done that, uh, you have to read the next instruction. It says, Print the general journal batch listing of the closing transfer fares with contrast on 1 March 2021. So it means they need us to print this general batch. So how do we do that? You go to print and then you print with contrast as they said. Right. And then again, I'm going to print on the PDF. And then um, I'm going to make sure that I put this on my folder that I created and then I'm going to call it closing closing transfers okay then I save so to check my closing transfers let me see how they're supposed to look like okay this is how your 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 your, your results will look like so you'll get a mark for making sure that these things are on period one You'll also get a mark for making sure that account that is debited is retained income for the first transaction. And then you also get marks for make sure that your reference is correct as well as your description. And then you get a mark for amount that is debited there and also the contra account. So this is how it needs to show the accounts that are debited as well as the accounts that are credited. So this is how you need to do it. As you can see there, that is where we started. So this is how you general general for closing transfers of the net profit as well as the closing transfers of the drawing.
should look like. In the next video, I uh, will be continuing with the same question paper, but I'll be looking at how do we create the report from scratch using the report writer.